My name is Marie Sarantakis, and I'm the principal attorney of Sarantakis Law Group Limited, a family law practice with offices in Chicago and surrounding suburbs. I'd like to talk to you today about social media marketing and how it can enhance your legal practice. As attorneys, we often focus our efforts on what we know best, and that's practicing the law. Traditionally, we gain clients by being knowledgeable in our trade, achieving successful results, and then in turn hoping that our clients would recommend our services to a neighbor, a cousin, or a friend. Well, this was the old model, and it still exists today, but there's now an additional step. These referrals will vet you on the internet, and so it's crucial for today's attorney to have a strong digital presence. Potential clients may be more interested in what others have to say about you than what you have to say. While social media marketing may seem novel, it's actually been used by attorneys for well over a decade, and it's now becoming increasingly vital as to how clients find and research potential professionals. Here are five tips that lawyers can implement to improve their social media online presence. Tip number one, create fresh and shareable content. One of the most common ways to do this is by writing blog posts. Blog posts are like articles, but they're often shorter, although they don't have to be. And in order to get the most value for your efforts, what you want to do is cross-post. You can share the same content on your website, on Twitter, Facebook, Avvo, LinkedIn. There are even platforms out there that can help you streamline this process, such as Hootsuite. Now keep in mind that it's not enough to simply have content. It needs to be engageable so that viewers click on it, find it relevant, and then share it with their friends. You want to encourage others to share your posts. And one way that you can do this is by simply writing a short one-sentence blurb informing that your networks that they're able to share the content. Give people permission to go out and market on your behalf. Just make sure that the content is yours and that you have the right to distribute it. Never share other people's work unless you have permission to do so. Tip number two, post early and post often. Clients want to ensure that their attorney is abreast of the changes in the law and that their attorney is engaged in the legal world around them. One of the worst things that you can do is create a social media page and then not update it. A stale page can be much worse than no page at all. So imagine this. Imagine you're on vacation in a place you do not know. You go on Yelp and you look up a restaurant for lunch. You find a place nearby with no reviews. You walk into that restaurant, let's say it's around noontime, and there's no one there. Well, you're likely to move on to find a different establishment. And it's not altogether that different with clients who are seeking out a lawyer. If you don't have a positive digital footprint, they may walk away with a negative impression. Tip number three, ask for reviews. While at one time clients would gain their initial impressions of a lawyer through that initial consultation, today that initial consult's conducted through a computer screen and you're not even a participant. By the time a potential client makes contact with your office, they've likely already decided that they wish to retain your services. Now some of this may be attributed to the fact that more millennials are a part of our client base. Millennials grew up relying on Amazon reviews for products and business reviews for services. Online research is a normal part of their due diligence. If you want to remain relevant, take advantage of the review platforms that many of these social media channels have to offer. So how do you get reviews? Well, one possible way is that when you close out a file, you can send a letter to your client. Thank them for retaining your services and let them know if there's anything else they need to do on their end. Finally, conclude with a little blurb saying that if they're satisfied with their, your services, that you would really appreciate them considering to leave an online review. It's important to remember that when there's open forums out there, there's going to be a mix of reviews. Some may be positive and some may be negative. It's inevitable. After all, Attorneys often deal with clients during very emotional and traumatic periods in their lives, and clients have expectations of the results that are to follow, and these results vary. So don't fret if you get a bad review. Simply respond in a professional and a courteous manner. 
apologize for the experience, take accountability, and encourage them to make contact with you personally so that you can make things right. Remember, whatever you do, do not respond substantively. Do not talk about the client's case. The attorney-client privilege belongs to the client. It does not belong to you. So with responding by a simple acknowledgement and taking ownership, potential clients are more likely to put an emphasis on your response over the content of that bad review. Tip number four, take advantage of the networks that you already have in place. The more often that your name appears before others, the more likely it is that they'll think of you when they're in need of your services. I encourage you to have both personal and professional social networks. Never underestimate the power of your friends and acquaintances and make it easy for them to make contact with you. Also, don't forget that your contact information should be visible across all of your social media channels. Tip number five, find what works for you. Social media is not one size fits all. Depending on the type of law you practice, your business model, and the types of clients that you want to attract, you need to focus on the right media channels for you. Don't spread yourself too thin, and don't engage in networks that aren't beneficial to you. Better to do a few things and to do them well. All in all, social media marketing comes with many exciting opportunities, but also many challenges. As attorneys, we have so many things vying for our attention at all times, and time tends to be our most valuable resource. So when using this type of branding, you need to be sure to comply with ethical codes and guidelines, many of which were written prior to the advent of social media. However, if you can successfully channel the power of social media, it can increase the number of potential clients that may contact with your office and greatly enrich your practice. For information about upcoming events sponsored by the ISBA Young Lawyers Division, please visit the ISBA website. Thank you and best of luck to you.